Cocky as fuck, everything about me popping. Got face, I got body, you name it, I got it. Cocky as fuck, bitch, you know I'm conceited. Yo, hoe wanna be me, yo, nigga won't eat it. Cocky as fuck, everything about me popping. Got face, I got body, you name it. Hey guys, Karen, I'm Karen. So today's video is going to be about me slaying this sister team wig. So, um, I'm doing two parts, so this video is gonna be long. I'm gonna be, the first part is gonna be about me dyeing my sister team wig. And then I'm going to be installing it. And y'all going to see the results. So stay tuned to the end. The results. Because we from the slatest. And um, also, um, a company reached out to me. They wanted me to do a review on the wig. So let me show y'all what it looks like. So it's a sister team 13 by 4 lace front wig. It's 18 inch. And I'm going to put the link in the description below and also the company too so this is how it looks it's very beautiful hair and look how I think this is 13 will look good on me but we're gonna be dying this and we're gonna see how this look and it also had um gave me a brush and they gave me some clips so eyelash ones and some rubber bands this is very cute. And also, as I mentioned, clips. They gave me two clips. Scissors. Okay, there they go. So, got your stocking cap. Gonna make a little hole right there. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just pulling down my stocking cap, making sure it's all down and good. And then I'm gonna be going in with my bone hole adhesive and I'm gonna put some layers around. So all you need to do right here is just put like, you know, a couple dots and put it on both sides and stuff. Make sure you get it real good around the corners by your ear. Okay, so this step right here is very important. You need to smooth out your glue really good. Make sure there is no white residue of the glue left. Also, this is the first layer of the boho adhesive. Make sure you follow everything that I showed you in this following process to achieve that ball cap look. matte foundation this is not my shade but i use a darker shade and i put some on this little powder thing and just rub it on real good make sure you coat the stocking cap with you know a good amount of the foundation make sure to not leave any stocking cap out left
right, so right here, I was doing my little TikTok thing. You know, I had to do my little TikTok thing, you know, because they love me. Yeah, they love me. So, yeah, I was just going through sounds right here, trying to figure out what sound to use, and, you know, I found one. All right, so let me go check on my sports. All right, sorry I got started. So I had put in my two colors in the hot water, and I started stirring. And also, I will drop down the two colors that I use for this wig. Okay, so I was just dipping the wig in the water, and I was brushing it and dipping it inside the hot water. And you keep on doing this process till you get the color you achieve. So right here, I'm just adding more color because I didn't like how it turned out and I wanted it more redder and darker red. So I just added more and just brush it there. Alright, make sure you watch this carefully. To achieve the ball cap look, you need to cut really close to your scalp. Don't hurt yourself, just cut real close to your scalp. <laughs> So when you pluck in your wig, make sure the hair is wet so it's easier for you to pluck the wig. So how I pluck is I pluck in sections. And you see right here, I'm just coming it out because I plucked it already. And you just grab it all that hair that you just plucked. See right here? This part little sections like that and just start plucking. You're just going to repeat this plucking process all over the front of the wig.
like it and I adjusted it to my head shape and right here I was cutting it around my ears because it was a little too big for my head because my head is like smaller and you will have to do this step if your head is smaller or bigger or if you have more asses of the wig. <laughs> Okay, as you can see right here, the wig fit my head shape and I had cut it right to my shape. Okay, so right here I'm going back in with my bone hole adhesive and I'm putting the same little dots around and I'm smoothing it out really good so it don't leave no white residue. And this is the first coat of the bone hole adhesive and then after this coat we're going to go again with another coat and another coat. Right here, as you can see, there is no white residue with the glue now. So I'm going in with my second coat of the bone hole adhesive, and I'm putting the same little dots and smoothing it out real good. Okay, so right here, I got on my phone, you know, try to kill time while my glue is drying. Okay, so the glue had dried, so I'm going back in with my third coat of the boho adhesive. Okay, so right here I had already had cut my lace on my wig and you know I was putting it on my head to get ready to start the process of installing it. Right here you couldn't see but all I was doing right here was just putting the lace on top of the glue. The glue was tacky and it was easy to apply. <laughs> Okay, so the lace right here was already put down. I was just combing it in, getting the glue and the lace all together so it could look melted. Okay, so your wig should look like that. It should be put down and laid down like that. I did do some things off camera such as doing the edges and curling it but that doesn't matter but what I did was off camera was I tied up my wig 
for five minutes and blow dried it on high heat for another five minutes and made sure everything was down and everything was good. Guys, it's on the beat.